In today's episode, we help out Micah Bell, and there's some job that the Greys have for us that uh, does not turn out well, and my fears about doing what the two families comes to pass, and we lose a couple people, which is really sad. Trelawney, good old Trelawney, what can we do for you, sir? I know you think I'm just some effete buffoon. What? A man of words and not of action. Hardly a man at all. Well, I think you're as slippery as an eel in an oil slick, but still a man. Because I think I've... I've found something interesting. Yeah? Have you ever robbed a stagecoach? No, never. I would have even thought. Of course I robbed a goddamn stagecoach. <laughs> you know I have. And what's the problem with stagecoaches? The armed man attempting to put a bullet in your head. Not quite. The odds. I mean, is it worth the robbing? Sometimes. I know. But, well, if you'd like to come with me, I can introduce you to a new best friend, and he's he's going to give you all the decent, robbable stagecoaches a hot-blooded degenerate could require. Well, I could require a whole lot. So he is has an insight about stagecoaches, I guess. Like which stagecoaches to rob? This friend of yours, Rhodes. Because what can possibly go wrong there? Well, lead the way and we'll find out. <laughs> Off to roads then. You sure seem to have got about around here. You know me. I like to make friends in low places. How the hell you end up down here anyway? I could ask the same of you. I have a few commitments over this way. Some expenses to meet. Expenses? What expenses? Gentlemen's canes and rabbits to pull out of hats. Among other things, I had quite a nice little business going for a while. Shares in a gold mining company. Excellent returns for the investor of a certain financial standing. Until, well, that unfortunate run-in with the law. Yeah, that's how it goes. Thanks for disappearing on us during that Sean business, by the way. I'd done my part. Each to their strength, dear boy. You know, you boys should really watch yourselves with those two families. This is a small town. People talk. I tried to mention it to Osea, but you know how he is. Anyway, while they're off chasing their pot of Confederate gold hidden at the end of some rainbow, here we are. We can hitch up outside. I'll make the introductions, Arthur. Yeah, we do need to be careful. This is a small town. Everybody's gonna talk. It's it's not smart playing both families, but... Or if we do, talk about that beforehand. Come into town totally separate, totally separate camps, totally separate, you know, like me, Bill Williamson, Hosea, and one camp, Dutch, Charles, and, you know, Trelawney, and whoever else in, in another camp, and we never interact with each other. Then we could play both families. But they see us interacting with each other and they're like, wait a minute. I thought you were helping the Greys out and you were helping the Braithwaites. What's going on here? It's a little too easy to figure out in my opinion. So this guy's going to help us? Hello, really? Alden. Hello, Josiah. How have you been? Dandy. And you, friend? Uh, like I said, times are tough. My missus is a bad woman. Terrible woman. They often are. But how's work, Alden? Terrible. Wages got cut again. They reckon they just invented a new horse's carriage will be the end of us. <laughs> They've been saying that nonsense since they invented the wheel. The wickedness of bosses. I know. My comrades here and I are greatly discouraged from the adequate fulfillment of our duty. A discouraged man is no man at all, Alden. No man at all. My friend Arthur here has a present for you. I do? Here. Ain't you kind, sir. Call him Arthur. He's one of us, a fellow man of distinction. Okay. Well, this is perfect timing. I think you'll like this one, Josiah. It'll be coming south down the river road through Siltwater Strand. Thank you, Alden. 
Thank you very much. Oh, and Josiah, if you or Arthur are ever out Strawberry Way, ask for my colleague there, feller called Hector. He's also one of the, what did you call us again? Discouraged men, Alden. That's it, discouraged men. I like that. Well, goodbye, Alden, or should I say, adieu. Oh, adieu, Josiah. <laughs> Josiah. <laughs> oh, he's funny. All right, inspect this document. What does it say? Uh, coach coming south down the river through Siltwater Strand. Valuables in strong box. Okay, passenger is the very wealthy Mrs. Chester Damson. Aspiring but appalling opera singer. Use your imagination. How does he know about all these? Do people... It, are they radioed in or phoned in? or Like, how does he figure out... What the hell was that? I thought you might like to see that pantomime. River Road through Siltwater Strand. Okay. I think I know a good spot to wait. Follow me. Okay, let's go. This way. Yeah. You all right there, boy? Yeah, I don't... How does he... How does that guy know? What did I tell you? Simple as can be. Seems a lot of the station workers are in on it these days. Earning a pittance. The unions are whipping them up. So they want something on the side. Like he said, there, strawberry. Could create a lot of opportunities for a man in your line of work. I ain't sure about going back to Strawberry after all that market business. Didn't sound like you left anyone alive to recognize you, so I wouldn't worry too much, dear boy. All this trouble, you gentlemen are becoming quite the celebrities, aren't you? Soon you'll be on the front of a dime novel. And dead, of course. We're hoping to be long gone before that. Dutch has a plan. If anything goes wrong, let's meet back here at this crossroad, okay? All right. Here we are. This is the spot. Okay. This should do. Sure. Here. I'm hoping we won't need those. Well, better safe than sorry. So what were you thinking? Well, according to this, the loot is located in a strong box, which is in the back. I'll put on a little performance, and you can scurry around, open the strong box, and relieve them of their goodies. And how do I open the strong box without threatening someone to open it for me? This should work. <laughs> Ooh. And I can do this silently? Well, I'm hoping complete silence won't be necessary. But you're going to wish you had your earplugs. This is Damson. Oh, very good, Alden. Very good. Of course, if anything goes wrong, you can wave your guns around like you normally do. Hold tight. They'll be here soon. Should we? No, I don't. Part of me is kind of like there we should right put our on coverings Let's on, go. but. Keep your distance so they don't see you. And please leave that gun in its holster for once. So you going up on ahead? I'm just gonna kind of follow his lead, stay back as much as he is. I always thought. I'll ride ahead and get the coach to stop. You hang back. Don't let them spot you, or you'll scupper the whole thing. Tail stage coach. <laughs> Trelawney. I hope you don't mind my singing. Not at all. I'm preparing for a show. It's a free country. <laughs> Did you say a show? <laughs> it's a small benefit. Blackwater. Just Mrs. Chester Damson. <laughs> I flatter. <laughs> no, stop the coach, my good man. Stop the coach. <laughs> Trelawney's hilarious, man. Oh my gosh. Did you stop singing? The New York audience. They were. All right, time for me to move in. Oh, she needs to exit the stagecoach.
Is this not suspicious that I'm just sitting here? Just like on the road? I mean, they do have a guy right there. Alright, let's see if I can do this. Okay, stealthy. <laughs> oh wait, break the lock? Shouldn't I have closed the strong box? Of this month, I can't say enough about Mrs. Damson. Magnifico. So sorry, gentlemen, for the interruption. Farewell. <laughs> should have closed the strong box, otherwise they know somebody gate. Man, I just feel like they should they should do better work and better robbery. I did a pretty good job, didn't I? I like watching Trelawney. He's funny. Well done, sir. Well done. It was easy. You did all the work. Teamwork, my dear boy. Teamwork. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, it's only good. Go see Alden from time to time. See you soon, Arthur. All right. So how much gang share... $187. Okay, that's not bad. Okay, visit those for about coaches carrying valuables. Okay. So are those going to show up on my map now? That's a stable. I mean, I'm assuming they are whenever they, they're ready. Not ready. Whenever they have something to tell me. Yeah, there's nothing right there now. But yeah, I think that'll be, they'll probably show up. All right, let's head back to camp. I guess the only other mission we've got right now is for Micah. There's nothing else on the on the map. You're a trapper, right? Yeah. I want to do more stuff in Strawberry, but there's just nothing to do here. There's no bounties. There's nothing. No quests. Maybe there'll be more quests later on. I don't know. Anyways, let's go ahead and head back to camp and talk to Micah. All right, Micah, if I'm going to help you, I've got one condition... And we're not gonna, and that is, don't shoot up a town and kill a thousand people. Okay. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called... Hey, Molly, where's Dutch? Well, however it goes. I'm not sure all that line of thought serves you and me very well. Uh, that's because, Cowpoke, you are a man of profoundly limited intelligence. No doubt. Well, you and the old man and Dutch have been running around, digging us ever deeper into shit. Old Mr. Pearson might have gone and lightened the load a little. Pearson! Ain't you curious? I guess. Gentlemen. Dutch, you tell him, fat man. It's peace, Dutch. The O'Driscolls. I mean, I think there's a way. What on earth are you talking about? Get the words out properly, fat man. I met a couple of the O'Driscoll boys on the road in the town. Things were about to get ugly. But you know how I am in a fight, huh? <laughs> like a corner tiger. <laughs> anyway, somehow it didn't, but we got to talking, and they suggested a parlay to end things. Like gentlemen. Gentlemen. <laughs> Comb O'Driscoll. <clears throat> Have you lost your minds? You're always telling us, Dutch. Do what has to be done, but don't fight wars ain't worth fighting. They want a parley? It's a trap. 
Well, of course, it's probably a trap, but what do we got to lose finding out? Get shot. We ain't getting shot because you'll be protecting us. It's a trap. You shoot a lot of them. If it ain't a trap, that's slim chance. I don't see the point in any of this. It's a chance. You've gotta take. I killed Combs' brother. A long time ago. Then he killed a woman I loved dear. Hmm. As you say, it's a long time ago, Dutch. Let's go. You and me, with Arthur protecting us, no one else. What about me? This ain't the time for tigers, my friend. Okay, Dutch. Showing himself to be a pretty big guy, as far as letting the past uh, lie ish you know who knows he might be going into this thinking oh if i get close to calm i'll just shoot him <laughs> but let's go then i mean i kind of like this this version and it's only the three of us interesting this is not smart i mean thankfully they know i've got the ability to use dead eye so long now i can barely remember a time when it was different and you're still fighting him now make no mistake of that here he goes, Doubting Thomas. Is there any plan you ain't sour on? Well, uh, maybe you're right. Just nervous. Let's not waste any more lives needlessly. I ain't costing lives here. I'm saving them. What did you say? We had Pinkertons coming after us. Because of Blackwater. And Leviticus Cornwall and his private army. Then, then who knows when this local hillbilly thing will come to a head, hmm? Can we really afford to be fighting on all these fronts and O'Driscoll? There is wisdom in that. Uh, I hope so, gentlemen, but like I said, I'm nervous. Look, you ain't even going to be the one in danger. We'll get on over there, find a nice perch for you to settle into. You got that rifle, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Then me and Dutch walk right in to the lion's den. With you to cover us. Hmm? Okay. Just keep calm. Unless I give you a reason not to. Oh, we'll be fine. We got you. I will do my best. Oh, my dear and trusted friend. With you watching over me, I would walk into hell itself. As would I. I'm surprised Micah is all for this. I always kind of pictured him as like, ah, I just want to be bloodthirsty and kill everybody. Ha, ah, take everything. And now he's all, he's actually showing wisdom. Men on the ridge. Oh, Driscoll's from the look of him. I don't like having eyes on us. We're close. You'll be the eyes soon enough. Maybe he's right, Dutch. Maybe I have pushed too hard. Got us into situations that could have been safer. I just, I see all those mouths we gotta feed, and I, I dream too big, caring too much. That's my problem. Mm, sure. Caring too much. There's no such thing. All right, cowpoke. You're gonna peel off up ahead. We'll be meeting down on the plane. Find a spot just above us where you can keep an eye on things. All right, all right. However this shakes out, let's aim to meet back at the fork in the road afterwards. We'll be there, partner. Yeah. I wonder what gun I should use. I don't, I've only got, yeah. the only gun with a scope on it is my single shot, I think, which is not gonna be very fast in Deadeye. I don't know. Because if I... Hold on, let me see. If I use my... Uh, yeah, this, and I aim down the sights, it goes into the scope, right? Yeah, it does. Is there any way to aim without... Not in the scope? No, doesn't look like it. Hmm. It would be nice if you could do that, but apparently you can't. 
Well, here we are. Here, let's hope this works. What gun do I have? Yeah. Aww. Poor little dead dog or something, I can't really tell. Okay, there's Dutch and Micah. I bet they've got a guy. They probably got a guy watching over them. The, the O'Driscolls, I mean. Is that Hello, Dutch. home? It's been a while. <clears throat> sure. So, uh, how's your gang doing? They still believing in you? Better world. Pure world. Hmm? How's that coming along? Just fine. Mm. How's that score you stole off us? Which one? <laughs> oh, I like that. It's like I said, is it? Charismatic leader. A lot of heat on us this time. Both of us. Whole heap of trouble. They offered me a price, Dutch, to bring you in. Why didn't you take it? Well, still might. I am sorry about your brother. Yeah, well, I never liked him much. I liked Annabelle. You always love the ladies, Dutch Vanderlyn. I like that about you. What are we doing here? Go home. Is this thing over? Mm, I knew somebody was gonna... <sighs> My gosh. You ain't dead, is you? Not I don't know. Column's got a sense. <laughs> Handing him over to the law. It's, I don't know. Escaped the Driscolls. They killed Seamus. Fuck the whole lot of them. Who killed Seamus? This fella Column's right. We can draw them all back. True. Come on. Wait, where's a. Uh... He's escaping. Shoot him. Relax. Relax. I got him. I got him. Oh, man. Did I kill you? Oh, not yet. <laughs> no, of course not. Where's not Dutch? Yet, but I will. Oh. What? How did I survive that? What in the world? Where am I? I'm on the back of a horse. Can I do anything? Finally. Put his weapons over there. Did, I wonder what... Yeah, it was definitely a trap. I wonder if Micah had something to do with this. Arthur Morgan. It's good to see you. Uh, hello, Cole. <laughs> How's Woo? I hardly feel it. You will. <laughs> Septic, they nice. Now, tell me, fine gun like you, but why are you still running around with old Dutch? Could come ride with me and make real money. It ain't about the money, Cole. No, no. It's Dutch's famous car. Uh, uh, you killed a whole bunch of my boys. I ain't got no clue what you're talking about. Oh, you lie, my friend. And I thought Dutch preached truth. Let me go, Cole. And end all this crap between you two. We all got real problems now. The way I see it, they get him. They forget about me. They ain't the forgetting sort. If I were you... I'd run as soon as I had the money. 
Oh, I know you would. Let's see. We lure an angry Dutch in to rescue you. Grab all of you and hand you in. Then disappear. So you only met with him to grab me? <laughs> of course. He's gonna be so mad. He gonna come raging over here. And a whole lot of you. And the law will be waiting for him. Arthur. <laughs> Arthur. I missed you. So Micah, okay, so they must have met with him and left and had no idea that I got captured. I mean, they, I assume they would have figured it out, hopefully. What is on my head? <laughs> oh, I'm just wearing a bag or something. You can swing your shackles to reach uh, the metal nut file. Okay. And then swing this way, swing this, swing this, and left, then this, then grab the file. Am I gonna do surgery on myself? Ooh. Ooh, man. Ouch. Position, file, twist it. Ugh. What am I doing this for? Am I am I block picking? <laughs> what did that what did that accomplish? Was I cleaning it out, maybe, I guess? Oh yeah, I'm gonna pour gunpowder in there. Ooh, just to carterize it. Oh my gosh. Carterize wound. Ow. Shoot ya, Hulk. I don't wanna go to Mexico. I wanna go home. Home. Hold on, I'll be back in a minute. What the hell? Stealth kill. Oh man, dude, Arthur not doing so good. I got three throwing knives. Oh man, can I crouch? What's he still doing down there? It's one thing torturing a man, it's another thing putting him through stories of the homeland. He better hurry it up. I don't want to be here when the law comes for that side of beef. What? Leave the area on a horse. Ooh, but there's a nice gun over there. Oh, come on. Dang it! Ah! Quick! Pick up a revolver! Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up! Arthur, why can't you pick it up? Pick up the revolver! Pick it up, please. Thank you. All right, time out. Time out, guys. Uh, jeez. Give me a sec. I'm, I'm, I'm hurt. I'm injured. Oh man. <laughs> it didn't help that I missed the second and third knife throw. <laughs> well, you know what? I'm just gonna let's just kill these guys right now. Are you dead, <laughs> son? I'm gonna get my throwing knife back. Thank you, sir. And I'm gonna loot you. If I can kill all of them, I, I will. Ooh, health cure. Definitely take that right now. Is that gonna clear up the screen? No, it's not. Oh, I missed the opportunity with that guy. Maybe. Nope, maybe I didn't. Can I get, why isn't it turning red? How did I miss that throw? Ah, come on. All right, there's a good gun here. I really want this gun. Oh, my weapons, that's what I'm grabbing, okay. Yeah, guys, quiet, just give me a sec. 
Just give me a sec. Just give me a just just chill. All right, they're all dead. <sighs> Got him. This time, wow, these guys are terrible. Terrible O'Driscolls. Guys completely wounded, barely, barely hanging on, and I was able to kill them all. All right, where's my horse? Is this my horse? Yeah. Let's get out of here. I'm gonna like fall over though. Oh, and of course. We're searching the area. I'm in trouble. Wait, why is it telling me to go that way? It's clearly this way. Can I not? Oh, it's, is that water? Ah, uh, I need to go across the bridge. That's why. Okay. Oh, nope, not that way, horse. <laughs> go. I need to. Where? Am, which way am I going? Yeah, he's not. Come on, keep going, keep going. Reload. Oh my gosh, this guy's right behind me. Go, 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 go. I've got so low health. Yeah, I feel like I'm Aragorn returning to Helm's Deep in this scene. Come on, horse should get me home. I haven't seen anyone on the road that can help me, you know? Is this the camp? Yep, this is the camp. Anybody notice I was gone? Scrimshaw, I need help! Reverend Swanson! He's gonna set the law on our Oh, of course he was! I'm sorry, Arthur. It is a bit late for apologies. Swanson! Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, you're safe now! Oh, let's get him to bed. I need a doctor. You are safe now, Arthur. Okay. I got you. Is Reverend now. Swanson the doctor? That's, That's real pretty. Miss Grimshaw. Will you sit with him a while? Of course. You'll be okay, Mr. Morgan. You're home. So I guess I don't actually need surgery. I just needed some rest. So that's how all bullet wounds are healed. Just from rest. few weeks later, wow. I was out for a long time. I thought I'd be burying you, Mr. Morgan. Well, not quite yet, River. Good. How you feeling? Oh, uh, about the same as you. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> well, take care of yourself. You too. Man, my hair's long again. I need to get a haircut. <sighs> Can we pay back the O'Driscolls? Your beard won't grow any longer unless you use a hair tonic. Use Each use of hair tonic will allow your beard to grow a little bit longer. Really? Well, I want to shave it. I'm, I don't like it super duper long. All right, well, apparently I can't even shave my hair. I, I sh trimmed my beard a little bit better, so now it looks looks not as not as long. Um, I really want to get payback on comb now. That was just messed up. Where's my, uh, where's the game telling me to go? Oh, finally into Rhodes. Bill Williamson's got something in Rhodes. Okay. There's San Denis over here. It's got a wanted, but I haven't gone in there yet, so I haven't. Been exploring that because I want to do this 
kind of as the story has me going. All right, well, let's head over to Bill Williamson then. What does Bill Williamson have for? Oh, it's Micah and Bill. Been waiting for you, Arthur. Well, I'm sorry to have kept you. Come on, let's get going. What's the plan? We're meeting a couple of the Greys over at the saloon. They spoke to Bill about a job, needing security. After the farce of stealing the horses for them, why are we doing this? Because we need to stay in with them, and they're paying. So what kind of security they want? We're about to find out. Now come on. This seem legit to you, Bill? Sure. Dutch said we was to keep on dealing with them until we find this gold. Can we trust them? Can we trust anyone? Yeah. Let's just see what they say. They said there was some big misunderstanding about them horses. And what did they board in their fields? They don't know we had anything to do with that. Oh, that's so. Yeah. Mm. They think it was the bright ones. Listen, I know these gray boys a bit now. This is on the level. We're stuck in the middle of some ancient feud, but instead of playing both sides, we're being used by both of them. They were saying the Catherine Braithwaite. Hey, hold up. This don't feel right. Now it don't feel right. I could have told you. Oh, Sean. Oh, my gosh. I had no idea. Oh, my gosh. We lost Sean. Yeah, okay, well, this is the end of this <laughs> this chapter. We're leaving and uh, not coming back. So much for new guns and roads. Oh my gosh. Sean's not fine. Sean's dead. Oh my gosh. Where's the You see the way out of here? All right now. Hang got us pending. There is a lot of guys here. Oh my gosh, this is so bad. Oh man. Where's the dude? Oh, he's up. He's behind a bush. I can't see him. Alright, enter the back of the gun store. Let's go and reload, please. Oh, 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 oh. What, what is this? Uh, double barrel shotgun. Eh, I mean... No, I'm fine with what I've got. Oh, gosh. Oh wait, time out. I'm looting. You're not, you're not supposed to shoot me when I'm Thank you, Micah. Guy had no respect. No respect. Don't talk to me about stuff. Better in here, not there. Now actually I'm curious, did we just unify the Greys and the Braithwaites? Because we're playing both sides, are they like, hey, we got a common enemy now? Where's Bill? This is you and me, Morgan. We always get the job done. You call this getting the job done? See Bill anywhere? Uh, no. Shit. Well, I know Bill doesn't die because he's in the first one. Oh, he's gonna get it good. This is some damn posse to graze round it up. We'd have had to deal with these sons of bitches sooner or later. Just turned out to be sooner. See that? Those cowards are running away. Looks like most of them. Not all of them. Sheriff Gray. And what about Bill? Where the hell's he? We'll find him later. Come on. I gotta do a Sheriff bunch Gray. of looting, man. All right, Micah. Let's end this. Wait. Last last big mission we did, we shot up all of Strawberry. <laughs> Either way, you're a dead man. Morgan? Shit! 
Oh man, yeah, I forgot Sean. Dang it. He's a good kid. Well, how the hell was I to know? Let me see. They set us up once before. They didn't like us. We destroyed their farm. Should I go on? Go easy on him, Morgan. He was out trying to find a lead. Same as you, same as Hosea. All you do is complain when things don't work out. Except when it's your goddamn fault. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't give a damn about nobody but yourself. Oh, you act so high and mighty, but you're no better than the rest of us. I've ridden with you boys close on what, six months now? And all you ever done was complain. You can fight, but you can't think. You can't do either. <laughs> okay, cowpoke. Bill, take the boy's body. Bury him proper someplace quiet. Micah? Best you and I don't speak for a moment. <laughs> I'm just so frightened by you. Get out of my sight, pair of fools. Man, I'm surprised they aren't more shaken that Sean's dead. Of course, I guess they're used to this, I guess. They're with somebody and then, oh, he died, he got shot. And then, oh, this another person joined. We're with him and, oh, he's, he's dead. He's like an annoying little brother to me. What fun we had riding together. What a goddamn mess we're making of things. And it's your own fault. <laughs> uh, okay, remaining lawmen in the air will be looking for you. So, yeah, don't go into roads. So, are we, are we not going to ever do anything with, like, the whole payoff against them? Oh, that stinks. Well, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Gosh, that really sucks, man. I like Sean. Oh. Why couldn't it have been Bill that died? <laughs> or Micah. Micah's just yeah. a annoying. Bill's just a waste of time. He's yeah, just totally stupid and... Yeah, I would say that's Bill's fault. Well, of course, Sean, I don't know, maybe... Was Sean in, in the planning of that? I don't know, that just sucks, man. Let's talk with Dutch and see what he needs done. We might we might retaliate. Let's see. Are people going to be kind of in mourning ish because of Sean. What's the plan, Dutch? What are we doing? Arthur, have you seen that boy, Jack? No. Oh. Where's my goddamn son? Where is he? Where's my son? They took him, didn't they? They took my son. Who took him? We think the Braithwaite woman took him. Oh. Like Kieran saw a couple of fellows sound like Braithwaite boys. Where's my son? If anything, uh, where is my son, Dutch Vandalin? We will find him, we will bring him back to you, and we will kill any fool that had the temerity to touch one hair on that boy's head. Abigail. You have my word. Just get me back, my son. I will get that boy back, so help me God. Right now. Dutch! We just heard about Jack. We need some extra guns. Yeah, why not? Micah, Kieran, anyone strange turns up, you kill him. Rest of you, let's ride. So not even... <laughs> Let's go get that boy back. Yeah, Sean's dead. Okay, sure. All right. Yeah, this has nothing to do with the fact that Sean's dead. <laughs> I mean, this should be like a, hey, let's avenge Sean. Oh, no, the Greys killed Sean. Wait, yeah, the Braithwaite's... Yeah, we just got shot to hell by the Greys in town. I know, I heard. Yeah, Sean's dead. I don't want to even think about that right now. Oh, okay, okay. I gotcha. Jack is still alive. Let's focus on that. Good point. I swear, I'll kill everyone there. All right, well, if we're going to do this, I want my double barrel shotgun. Whoops, I don't need my dynamite. And then I guess I'll take my repeater as well. Easy, John. Fight us. Hey, Carl. I'm fine. How the hell did they get to him? I don't know, but we are getting him back and they will pay. I promise you that. What about the gold? Who gives a damn about the gold? They got Jack. I hate to break it to you, but I don't think there is any gold. If there is, it's hidden somewhere no one knows. What? I've turned every stone. Christ's sake, Hosea. After all that, another perfect scam. We underestimated them. 
No, they underestimated us. Enough talk. There is no point arguing how we got here. This is where we are. And we are going to fix it. So come on! All right, this looks like this is the... I've heard about this. The shootout at the Bra Braithwaite's. Yep, this is okay, probably that mission. Right. Nobody makes a move until I say so. We should not announce it, honestly. Riding up there like this is stupid, in my opinion. Just saying, hey, we're here. We'd like Jack back. Obviously, they're not going to give it to him. Give us him, so we're going to have to shoot him. Should have just snuck in and done it that way. This is putting Jack at risk, All what we're right, doing. Everyone, dismount and come to me. We'll go in on foot from here. There's no guards out First front. Song. Now, Jack. We should have stayed out of all of this. I agree with you. Quiet. We're going to fix this right now. Like they don't know we're coming. Come on. Let's get this done. John, you sure you're okay? Like I said, I'm fine. Follow my lead. Both these redneck families think they can ruin us? I don't think so. This is stupid. He's walking up there. This is so dumb. There they are. Who steals a goddamn boy? I'm they could have a Gatlin gun and just mow us bitches. down. John, I need you to stay calm. Hopefully, this rich, powerful family doesn't have any Get super powerful guns. Now, you inbred trash! Easy, John. We've come for the boy. He must have known we would. Shouldn't have messed with our business now, should you? Whatever complaint you have with us, alleged or otherwise, that is a young boy. That is not the way you do things. Hand him over. Get the hell off our land. If you ain't gonna be civilized about this. Let's get you, let's get you, let's get you. Yeah, a double barrel will come in handy when we're inside. I don't even know if I shot that the second guy. I think I shot the railing. Oh, I did get him. All right, all right, all right, time for time. Oh, golly, I need to keep an eye on my health. All right, time for me to take cover, take cover, take cover. Let's do this again. Nice headshot. Get some dead eye experience. Nice. Nice shooting. Alright, guys, give me a sec. I know we're kind of in a hurry for Jack, but, you know, nothing's going to happen. Yeah, she, if, she's, if she's smart, she's not here. You guys, you guys slow down, guys. I, I got to loot. If Jack is here, I'm going to be super surprised. And the rest of them, I think, are upstairs. Okay, double barrel. Let's go. Double barrel? All right, yeah. Wait, are you a good guy or bad? No, you're John, right? Jack, you in here? Try these other rooms. Oh, shit. You're in a 
double barrel shotgun for the win. Uh, hey, where's Jack? Tell us where. Oh, darn it. Maybe double barrel shotgun wasn't the right way to go. Because I can't interrogate him. Oh, you know what we should do? We should. I mean, we killed them all. We should burn down their house. That would be good payback. Let's go check upstairs. We really should burn. Oh, I think we do. You know what? That's probably. We probably do. All right, upstairs. Oh gosh, more dudes. Okay, uh... Let's get these riders. Oh, they've got wagons. Is there gonna be a Gatlin gun in there? No, I wanted to shoot the... the the lantern, guys. Jeez. Oh, they have torches. It's not a lantern. Okay. All right, I'm coming, John. I'm a coming. Chill. Oh, that's Charles. Thankfully, these guys don't use cover at all. Hope John break the door, okay? Come on, this must be it. I can't see a goddamn thing. You want, you want, you want me to give a shot? Oh, here we go. One, two, three. No! She's here? You want me to what a stupid you lady. You bastards. Where's the boy? We have lived in this house for 120 years. We never had no problem except for Where Yankees. Where is the boy? Who took him? You killed my son. Oh, and I will surely kill the rest of them unless you start talking. Oh, I know your time. Common scum. Where? Is the boy. You filth. All right, we get her out of here. What about them? <laughs> now let's get this hag outside. Any more of her sons to deal with? No, I reckon they're all dead. What did you think was going to happen? Why did you stay here in your house? You stupid lady! Oh, hey! Yeah, I got him. Oh, I mean... I guess that's the end of the goddamn cribbage game. here! If you had just let us steal all your stuff... You know, we would have been fine. What's Dutch gonna do with her? I never liked you. Why'd you take the boy, Mrs. Braithwaite? You stole Boys my Boys are off liquor. limits. You stole my horses. Ain't no rules in war, mister. Matthews. Yes, yes, that's it. Where's the boy? My sons gave him to Angelo Bronte. So my guess is Saint Denis. Either there, we're on my boat to Italy. Let's go. Arthur, come on. What are we doing with her? Leave her. I told you she was crazy. Oh, is she going to go back in the house? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Wow. Okay.
It's gonna work out, John. It's gonna work out. Listen to Dutch. Now, I don't expect you to understand this, but I have never been more proud of you than I am right now, brother. You're doing the right thing. If I don't get that boy back safe, I'm... She... She'll kill us all. I know, but looking at this logically, well, that boy is fine. They took him to scare us. Nobody takes a boy to harm him. He's right, John. What do you think, Arthur? My boy will be fine. But, well, of course Marston scared rotten. We, we killed all those people. We stirred up all that trouble. <laughs> for nothing. No. No. Not for nothing. For living. Now, we get that boy back, and we go. Trust me. Hey, Dutch! We got a problem. Not a problem. Visitors. A solution. Good day, fine people. Mr. Vanderland, Mr. Matthews, I presume. And who are you? Rip Van Winkle. Huh. Good day, sir. Agent Milton, Pinkerton Detective Agency. Agent Ross. Ah, Mr. Morgan, nice to see you again. And to what do we owe the pleasure, Agent Moron? I don't know if you're aware, but this... This is a civilized land now. We didn't kill all them savages only to allow the likes of you to act like human dignity and basic decency was outmoded or not yet invented. This thing, it's done. This place ain't no such thing as civilized. It's man, so in love with greed, he has forgotten himself and found only Appetites. And as a consequence, that lets you take what you please, kill whom you please, and hang the rest of us? Who made you the messiah to these lost souls you've led so horribly astray? I'm nothing but a seeker, Mr. Milton. You ain't much of anything more than a killer, Mr. Vanderlind. But I came to make a deal. It's time. You come with me, and I give the rest of you three days to run off disappear, and go and live like human beings someplace else. You came for me? Risk life and limb in this den of lowlifes and murderers so that they might live and love? <sighs> Ain't that fine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to kill all these folk, Dutch. Just you. In that case, it'd be my honor to join you. Excuse me, friends. I have an appointment to keep with. I think your new friend should leave now, Dutch. You're making a big mistake, all of you. <laughs> yeah, dreadful. We have got something. Something to live and die for. How awful for us. Mr. Milton, stop following us. We'll be gone soon. I'm afraid I can't. And when I return, I'll be with 50 men. All of you will die. Run away from this place, you fools. Run. Come on. Get your damn hands off of me, boy. What now? We get out of here. And quick. Any ideas? I know a big old house. Hidden in the swamps outside Saint Denis. I'm sure they'll find us eventually, but it should buy us a few days. A few days is all we need. There's a spot out by Shady Bell. Lenny and I got into that dispute with the previous occupiers. Place is well hidden. You and Arthur, right out to make sure no one else has moved in. Lenny, you go follow those fools out of here. Make sure that they leave. And John, we'll get Jack back, and we'll get going. Rest of you get packing! Come on, John. This is crazy. We'll get packed up, but we need a new spot. Yeah, I mean, Jack is doing fine. I mean, he's getting an Italian education, presumably. Or, you know, getting all educated in San Denis. So, I wish they would have kidnapped Arthur. Then Arthur could have gotten that education. Just gotta keep our cool. Be smart about this. Smart? Are you joking? We make too much noise once again. We drew them right to us. I mean, how many people we killed in the past few weeks? Far too many. 
It's Dutch playing his games. Hosea, too. Getting involved with those two families. Master con men working their magic. They thought there was a lot of gold. Yeah, they thought there was money. Ain't there always. Look, Marston, I don't know what to tell you. Things don't always work out. That ain't nothing new. Jack's gone. We lost Sean, Mac, Davy, Jenny. And for what? We can't change what's done. We can only move on. But one day, we need to start learning from our mistakes. Come on, it ain't all bad. We've had a rocky run. We'll be okay. We'll get through it. <laughs> Dutch will fix it. Dutch will come up with a big plan. Right now, every plan gets us into worse trouble. We're getting further from where we're meant to be going. Now, you can't put all this on Dutch. You're worked up. Rightly so. Just don't get too far in your head with all this. You'll never get out. That's it up ahead. Four walls and a roof. We're moving up in the world. You ain't seen inside it yet. Come on. The sooner we get this done, the better. You sure this place is empty? I ain't sure on nothing. All right. Let's leave the horses here and take a look. Here's our new hideout. But I guess we gotta... Oh. It's them again! Still some here. I can see that. <laughs> what do you have? I'll check the house. You keep watch out here. Lemoyne Raider. Let's grab whatever he's got on him. Of course, if they're here, then they're gonna have more guys coming back for him. You know what I'm saying? You know? <laughs> Dude, I love the double barrel shotgun, man. What's he doing? Looked like he was gonna try to talk with me. I'm not, I'm not talking with you guys. Soon enough, you are some of the coward like you. The bounty hunters, the freedmen, the carpet beggars, the army of criminals who stole our land and our government. I survived them all. Our fight will live on. Mm. All right, buddy. And that's nobody in here. I think that's a lot. Didn't even have to shoot the last one. Good. He shot himself. Help me with this, will you? All right, let's go help John. You coming? Give me a hand moving these bodies. Don't want the others walking into this. Follow me. What about the... Yeah, I mean, there's still one more upstairs. Where are we taking these? Just right, throwing them in the way. water? We'll yeah. The bodies in the swamp over there. Here you go, alligators. Time to eat. Is that an alligator right there? Yeah, it is. Oh gosh, I should not be in here. Okay. Yeah. I can deal with the rest. Of the Come on, get out of the water. You go meet up with the caravan. Got them in. All right. See you soon. Yeah, there's two more bodies, three more bodies. Jeez. Alligators, it's paradise. I love it. Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, would you two kindly work your magic? Arthur, 
take a ride with me? Sure. Come on. Dodge? Yes? Could I have a word with you? <clears throat> Not now. Come on, Arthur. Man, this is gonna be a long episode. There's a lot going on here. Can you believe that, girl? All I've got going on, and she wants to talk. Everything okay with you two? I got far more important things to worry about right now than Molly O'Shea. So, where are we going? To take a look at this eighth wonder of the civilized world, San Denis, I keep hearing about. According to the map, the road up this way should lead us right in there. All right. I guess this day ain't over yet. Not quite. Good work back there, Arthur. Everything went okay? A few loose ends. Nothing major. And John? About what you'd expect. He's taking it hard. We are going to get that boy back, whatever it takes. I need you to start asking around in the city for Bronte. Subtly, of course. Public places, maybe start with the saloons. Anyone who can put us in contact with him. Of course. What about the Pinkertons? I'm fairly sure nobody followed us. We moved out fast. We should be safe for a few days here. And then? I think we need to move a little further. Put some ocean between us and all of this. The mess with those two families, losing Sean. I see things differently now. For a long time, I truly believed a paradise lay somewhere in the West for us. But I just don't know anymore. So we're leaving the country now? Maybe. I'm still thinking about it. Whatever we do, We'll need more money. In any case, we have more pressing matters to attend to first. San Denis. Wow, this is a big city. They've got, like, factories and stuff? Wow. Okay, there she is. A real city. The future. They make it look all dark and gross. Big <laughs> cities. Always repellent? Exactly. I'll find you in there. Go see what you can figure out. Yes. Chapter 4, San Denis. Man, that was a long episode. So we'll explore San Denis next time. Guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see everybody in the next episode.